And I'm not going to stop her from getting skill, but she actually won't gain any fame from this because she's stepping out of the spotlight. So that will prevent her from completing this world famous celebrity aspiration. And I don't even want her to be a one star celebrity. She's basically going to get very good at the guitar, but then for some reason never really make it as a celebrity. And during each session where Adora is playing, we have to keep an eye out for a suitable partner. If we can find a suitable partner, then we'll probably keep track of them for a while until she becomes a young adult and she can get married. Hi, it's Charity and welcome back to the Lucid Legacy Challenge. Challenge in The Sims 4 by the Lucid Simmer, whose channel will be linked below along with the rules for the challenge. Now, May has probably passed the baton on to Adora now. So we're just working on Adora's childhood goals. And I don't know where she's running off to. This is kind of weird. Oh, she's going down this road. Okay, she's going to get a frog somewhere around here. I don't know exactly where it is, but that's her collection for today. We're just working on different things every day. So for today, we're here in Copperdale and we're going to visit the fair. We're going to have frogs for our collection and we're going to play the piano. We also have bubblas. Now the bubblas are back at home. So once we get back home, I'll show you those. Oh, I saw an explosion. I usually don't catch those on camera. I just get the little notifications up here, but there was an explosion in this cage. And I think there was one out here in this one as well, because we still have the hedgehogs. So this is Adora's room. She has a nice purple piano. I would have gotten her a more expensive one, but the keyboard just fit better. And to be honest, we're not fitting a full size piano in this tiny little room. And then we have the butler's room right next door and may and trevor's room down the hall now we have these cute adorable little bubblas i think they're purple and they look like little ox but they're some kind of water buffalo with a duck bill it's a strange looking one that's for sure i'm not sure why they decided on this one for a mythical creature Oh no, he bit my nose. Okay, he doesn't want a treat. His hunger is just okay though. Okay, he's eating his food though. I just have to make sure that these little creatures don't die off. I'm trying not to have them be bugged, at least while Adora is still a child. All right, for our outing today, we're going to visit this little carnival that's in Copperdale and we can ride the haunted house. Can we ride with Adora? Yes, we can. Okay, these little carnival rides are just rabbit holes, but they're actually kind of interesting. Fight or flight. Mayhem didn't want to admit it, but she is a little nervous as she sits down in the mine cart. Each little sound and movement has her jumping out of her seat. When something suddenly jumps out right next to an Adora, adrenaline and instinct kick in. Fight or flight? I think she's going to do flight because Mayhem is squeamish and she's a little bit skittish too. The adrenaline and fear kick in as Mayhem grabs Adora and pulls her out of the cart with her. A loud crash echoes through the room. The lights turn on to reveal a large prop has fallen from the ceiling. Mayhem's quick movements prevented anyone from getting hurt, as well as increased Adora's trust in her. The ride operator apologizes for the inconvenience and offers some simoleons as compensation. Became trusting of rider. Um, yeah, that's a carnival accident? I didn't know that could happen. Yeah, it's a sentiment. Okay, obviously Adora is too young for the love ride. And it, yeah, maybe. I don't see why you would restrict it though, unless you are going to make it a height requirement. So let's go ride the Ferris wheel, May. 
Okay, Adora's a little bit hungry, so we'll go over here to this little stand in order to order a hot dog. And May can actually get some iced coffee. For once, a place sells coffee. And Sims. Of course, they're not going to sit together. Who wants to be seen sitting together with your mom at a fair? There was another kid walking around that I wanted to introduce Adora to, but unfortunately, the kid is gone, and Adora was on a ride when she was around. Well, that's really all we can do at the fair. Let's go ahead and go home. Oh no, Thumper has died. Did he get eaten by a fox? Yeah, I see a fox walking away from the rabbit home. Mr. Robin Moon, one of our other pets, probably got Thumper. Well, that's one less pet that we're going to know. We now just have one bunny, Hopper. If Hopper dies, I'm going to not have the rabbit home anymore. And that's the way we're going to treat the rest of the pets, is that once they pass away, we're not replacing them. Hopefully we won't have too much of a farm when we move back to the apartment. Oh no, Dada is running away. Brisham. Well, that stinks. It's almost time to go to our next location for a vacation. Well, here we are in Strangerville. And our goal this time is to collect space prints, work on mischief, and we have some pet birds, and we're going to visit a restaurant, hopefully around dinner time. Of course, I try to make friends with the birds, and then they fly away. Okay, now that the birds are back, I can actually give them a gift and talk to them. Why do you keep flying away? I can't make friends with you when you do that. So this house was actually a build I did in one of my other videos where everything was run down. And I renovated it again so that we could have a nice, clean house. And that's what I've been doing for most of these houses for Adora, is taking either existing AEA builds or other builds that I have made and just renovating them a little bit so that they fit the storyline and then they have enough bedrooms. So Adora's bedroom is just over here. She's got the gray bedroom and then we have a little music office for Trevor. We have the cat room with the litter box and the cat tree. We have the dog room with the dog beds. And upstairs, we have the rodents on the patio balcony, the butler's room. He has the red room. We turned the kids' bedroom into a bathroom. I thought it was fitting since it was water-themed. And then May has her studio set up up here. And this is Trevor and May's bedroom. So we worked on our mischief, and the flock is back. So we're going to go talk to them, hopefully get a little bit of a friendship going. We're going to take a short nap with Adora because we actually need to be awake tonight because we're trying to find space prints and those can only be found at night. Well, here we are at La Fachetta by Camille 32400 and I got this off of the gallery. It is a really interesting build and it was meant for Willow Creek. But I think it kind of fits in Strangerville, especially on this lot. It just looks perfect. Oh, yeah. So I'm using Carl's Dine Out mod, and I'm hoping that we can actually order things. Of course, the adults are going to have a coffee, but um, I don't see anything that Adora can drink. Other than water, of course. Well, I guess this is not a kid's restaurant, even though it does have pizza. And while we're waiting, we'll just do a little bit of mischief. And I'm not sure if I really want May to draw on the table. Because sometimes that might interfere with food delivery. May is childish, so she actually can draw on the table just like the kids. Okay, I have this set to 50% guests. And it seems like no one is getting set at a table and it looks like the chefs are not going to their stations. 
Well, that's my bad. Host walks, guest seats is off, and guest seats themselves is off. And unfortunately, that's the default. Okay, my bad. What if I turn them both on? Will you guys go seat yourselves now? Or at least get seated? Or do I have to reload the lot? Probably have to reload the lot. And something about the chefs, they cannot get to the chef station. Okay, there was something blocking the chef stations. So I just moved a few things around. It might have been the baguettes that were sitting on the chef station. It might have been the fact that there were plants right under the stairs. I'm not exactly sure which what it was but I moved a bunch of things rebought the chef stations and now it looks like the chefs are going to their stations so it's not Carl's mod it's something about this build that made the chef stations unreachable so that's fixed and the guests are still not seating themselves but uh, that's okay I reloaded the lot and I expected my order to be cancelled but it looks like my order is still in for some reason or maybe not. Okay, finally at midnight we get our food. I had to clear out all the people that were waiting in the front. Um, so yeah, this is kind of a restaurant fail even though I had the mod. But I swear, restaurants do occasionally work. Okay, no more chatting, just eat. At least once they get their food, they're quick about eating. I guess the only thing we really have left to do today is to try to get some space prints. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get it or not, but we have plenty of energy for now. Oh, we actually found one good. I wanted to find at least one. So we got the Rosie the Riveting. Well, now we're in Windenburg. And we're going to collect holiday crackers. We're going to practice our singing. We have two new pet rats. And we're going to visit a cafe. So this is our first rat. Her name is Minnie. And our other rat is named Mickey. Oh, Trevor's going to be cheerful. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, hopefully the rats don't bite me. Now, I was hoping the karaoke machine was usable by kids, and it appears it is. So that's good. I guess this builds creativity. Oh, and singing too. So Adora is going to have a lot of different adult skills. Okay, I've not got a single plushie. And I've opened, I don't know, 10 or 20 of these stupid crackers. Oh, I got one plushie. Two plushies. Okay, cool. Okay, now on these rodent cages, there's this release option. Does that just get rid of the rodent? It says release it so that it can live in the world. And I'm just curious as to what that actually means. So we're going to call this an experiment with tails because the mice are what we're using for right now. So what happens if I release Tails? Is he going to run around the house? Okay, he ran under the cage. And now I have the option to purchase a rodent. Yeah, I think that just gets rid of the rodent. Well, that's kind of disappointing. I was hoping that he would run around on the floor or something, but nope. And I no longer have a Tails on my friendship panel. Oh well, we're down one rodent. Okay, so I made over this cafe to actually have a karaoke machine in it because I didn't want Adora going to a karaoke bar as a child. So we're going to sing a duet with Trevor since he's our more musical parent. And then we'll be done with today's assignments. Okay, they're actually both pretty good. Aren't these two just cute? Father-daughter singing time. Okay, yeah, Adora is a little bit off. I take that back. It's almost Adora's birthday. 
Okay, it appears that Adora cannot order anything from the barista. Fine, maybe I'll order something. Well, now May is in Sulani. She's a little sad, though, because she's being homesick. So we're going to search for seashells. We're collecting them. We're going to go fishing, and we have chickens. This is the Cluck Ship Voyager with Rom Terrace, Cluck O'Day, Belle Hannah, Wrath Hen, and Tupac. Oh, and we already found a seashell. Now there is a potluck today at 6 p.m., so we will be going to that. It's so cute when the kids play with the chickens. Can I pet you or are you going to attack me? Oh, thank you for being so friendly. Adora likes her little chickens. Now with the fish, I would put them in an aquarium, but I think they actually spoil in an, an aquarium. So maybe we can try fish bowls. The closest fishing spot is pretty far away. Actually, Adora doesn't really have to catch any fish. We're not keeping fish as pets for this particular outing, and we're not collecting fish. We just need to get the skill. Oh, we got a heart of Sulani. I forgot you can catch treasures when you're fishing. Technically, we're collecting seashells, but we will keep other mementos that we get along the way as well. I think I have some other things in this box, too. I had so many mementos from our travels that I had to put anything that would fit inside of the storage box. And when we get done with Adora's childhood, we will redecorate her child room and add all of her mementos into it. And it will stay as part of May's part of the house. Okay, we actually did get a fish. Oh, look, Cluck O'Day came to keep us company while we're fishing. Well, bye, Cluck O'Day. Okay, there's supposed to be a potluck at 6 p.m. at the pavilion. So we're going to keep an eye out for that. And in the meantime, comb for some beach shells. Now the adults can have some kava. But, oh, it costs two simoleons? I guess because it's not ours? That's weird. Well, this is just a spot for free food. And did I see a chicken? There are chickens here. Well, I guess chickens were a good choice for Sulani. Although those, those aren't really chickens. Those are more like uh, some sort of pheasant. But still, chickens on the beach aren't that strange. We'll do a little bit of fire dancing with the adults. Of course, the children can't do this. But I think it's a nice touch. It's such a shame that the children can't ride in the sea or the canoes. I wish they could at least ride in it with an adult, but they can't even get in it. So that was one thing I wanted to try doing, but the only thing they can do is relax in the floats. Okay, this ranch hand is destructive. He broke the dollhouse for no reason whatsoever. Well, now we join Adora in Tomerang. She wants to visit the night market collect tassels and she's actually going to age up today so the skill that i have chosen is guitar which is going to be her final skill for when she's an adult and she's going to also want to have a pet tiger now you can't really have a pet tiger you can only support one and get a plushie through the sanctuary but that's what we're going to do when we're going to call that her pet for today now, this building was actually, I think, put out by Little Simsy, and it's a pretty nice Tomerang building. I did have to add the animal sheds and chicken coop and all the other stuff for the horses and all of the pets because we had to move here. We couldn't just get this as a vacation rental because I need Adora to age up today, and you can't age up while on vacation. At least I don't think you can. Anyway, the downstairs is pretty spacious. There's a kitchen, a living room, but there's no bedrooms on this floor. There's only three bedrooms upstairs. And it's a little cramped because I had to make this little space in the middle an office space. And I really didn't have any room for the dog beds unless I was going to get rid of this little seating area, which I don't like to take away furniture. 
I like to just replace it. I don't mind replacing the bedroom furniture, but I like to keep the sitting areas. So I replaced this bedroom with the dog beds, which left me only two bedrooms. This one, which is Adora's, and this other one, which belongs to May and Trevor. Now, in order to get the butler a bedroom, I was going to assign this room that was for the dogs to the butler, but then I realized there is a basement. I had no idea there was a basement at first when I decorated this. I didn't find it out until later, but I did find it eventually. So we are going to assign this bed to the butler. Now it's a shame that they don't have child sized guitars in the Sims, because to be honest, if a child can play a violin, a child can play a guitar. I mean, as far as difficulty goes, I know they're both string instruments and they're completely different in how they're played. But as far as difficulty, I think it's about the same difficulty level. Someone who can learn how to play the violin could probably also learn how to play the guitar. And they just need an instrument that's sized correctly for them. Now, I do have some experience with the violin, uh, actually quite a bit of experience with the violin. I don't have very much experience with the guitar other than j just basic strumming, but it really doesn't seem all that hard compared to the violin. And we're going to adopt a tiger. And Adora will just visit the sanctuary. No, don't go to school. She actually has a vacation day. Okay, so we have to wait one to two business days for our plush and our poster. Well, eventually we will get a tiger. We're supposed to get two because I did order two. I'm not sure if it will work though. Rar means I love you, right? Adora is so excited to potentially catch a glimpse of the tigers and the anticipation is too much to handle. With a burst of joy, she lets out a strong roar or a small meow. Let's go for a strong roar. She wants to be famous. Roar means I love you, right? That was far more awkward than expected. Everyone just stared. As the reality of events set in, the sweat began to roll down Adora's back. Maybe it would have been cool if a tiger had actually responded, but with only crickets in the air, safe to say that it was a major faux pas. Well, that's probably going to be Adora's luck. Fact finder, the main visiting area is chock full of information and community outreach efforts. Posters and plaques line the walls with different zones for different topics. Mayhem makes her way around, stopping to look at the various items when something catches her eye. Oh, what's on that poster? That plaque sure is shiny. Um, let's say the plaque sure is shiny. Fact finder, a shiny plaque reads, Conservation Support Funded by Judith Ward, Actress, Philanthropist, VIP Club Member. Okay. I think you can only have one of your Sims go in at a time. This is super annoying. Okay, this time we chose the other one. The eye of the tiger peering out at Adora nabs her attention. What a cool poster. This isn't the type of establishment to garner a gift shop, but there has to be some way to acquire a copy. Looking around for clues, her eyes land on an information pamphlet about the Adopt-A-Tiger program. What a lead. Yeah, I've already done that. I want to get a tassel. I think you can get one if you try and sneak in at night. I think you can also buy them at the night market. Spotted. Way off in the distant trees, there appears to be something moving in the brush. Could it be an elusive tiger? Adora sure thinks so. Okay, flail wildly to get nearby Sim's attention or drop to the ground and pull out a camera. Um, not sure which one would accomplish the most, but let's try to get attention because we want to be famous. Spotted, just as everyone in the group turned to stare at Adora's antics, a large tiger gracefully strolled out of the foliage. It stayed still in the distance, almost as if posing for the white watching Sims. Then as quick as it appeared, the tiger let out a low rumbly call and leapt into the branches of a tree, vanishing instantly. Giddy with his excitement, Adora let out a playful little growl back and skipped back into the sanctuary. Okay, well, I guess this is not really anything other than getting moodlets. All right, time to plan Adora's birthday party. As before, we'll have all of the family show up. And we'll see how long this takes to execute. 
Happy birthday, Adora. Okay, that's it. Adora's going to age up. And she has high self-esteem. That's fine for her. And she needs to be self-absorbed. Now, she's all about the world-famous celebrity aspiration. So I think we're going to go ahead and give that to her. But she's not going to complete it. But we'll just only use that gregarious bonus and not the muser bonus. Happy birthday, Adora. It's time for your makeover. All right, she finished her cake. Now, everybody out. Did you know that dogs in The Sims 4 could swim in the pool? Um, I did not. I usually don't have dogs, and I usually don't have pools. So that was a surprise to me. Okay, now that Adora is a teenager, she's not going to go out with her parents as much. Probably not at all, in fact. So she is actually going to buy some things at the night market and we have to see if we can find a tassel. I don't know where they are. Oh, we have a light green tassel and a mysterious basket. We'll get that too. Pink tassel and some different marbles. So we did get two different tassels. And we're here at the night market in Tomarang and we're just going to play some of our songs. Just practice our guitar a little bit. And I'm not going to stop her from getting skill, but she actually won't gain any fame from this because she's stepping out of the spotlight. So that will prevent her from completing this world famous celebrity aspiration. And I don't even want her to be a one star celebrity. She's basically going to get very good at the guitar, but then for some reason never really make it as a celebrity. And during each session where Adora is playing, we have to keep an eye out for a suitable partner. If we can find a suitable partner, then we'll probably keep track of them for a while until she becomes a young adult and she can get married. Well, I finished Adora's makeover and she has a lot of different looks. So don't worry, not all of them are as weird as this one. She has different looks because she wants to be a star and she has a guitar. So she's going to stick with just playing the guitar for now. So I've also finished May's apartment. Now the downstairs is more video games and electronic entertainment, not necessarily dancing. And there's a little bit of music because Trevor is a musician, but there's not a focus on the arts type of stuff. So May still has her office, which she now shares with Trevor. She has her bedroom with some more stuff in it. And we finished Adora's kid bedroom. So this has all of the collections in it that we collected and all of the things that she did while she was a child. Any souvenirs that she brought back are here. And we have a lot of things on the shelves. Now we also have the animals outside and it said that I wasn't allowed to have the horses but it didn't prevent me from moving in and I just teleported them up here. So you can do that if you have the ability to teleport through cheats or mods. And there's the chicken coop and we also have the tree trunk both of them for the bunnies and the birds and the cats and the dogs and everything is here. So we're going to be keeping all of these animals and hiring a butler, which we already have, and a ranch hand, which we've hired. So this area will just be the outside area for the animals. And then we still have the table setups from last time. I just moved them a little bit. And put this piano out here some cat trees and dog beds and the kitchen is where it was before and then we have a living room area which is new i did also add a few things to the butler's bedroom so it's a nicely furnished room although cheap furniture and then we have the cheaper bathroom over here with the kitty box so oh yes and all of the rodents are here in the hallway I thought it was better to put them out here in the hallway because realistically, they do not fit in Adora's bedroom. So Adora's place upstairs, I got the layout finished, but I only did the bedroom a little bit, a small ensuite bathroom, 
and the kitchen area with a little stage set up. So she's also going to host parties here where she plays the guitar. And the bedroom scheme is a little bit different, but I like the colors. It just worked so nicely. So I'm going to go with this. There's no clutter or anything like that yet, but we will eventually do that. So we have this big open area where she's going to host all of her parties and have all of her living space. We have a small room over here to the side outside of the pool that will be a public bathroom. And then we have the hallway with the private rooms in the back. And the private rooms, I think the bedroom is the only one that's really going to be a bedroom right now. The other rooms I might make into like a theater room, a games room, or something of that nature for now, since Adora doesn't have any children. So when she gets to be a young adult and starts having kids, then we will turn her party rooms into bedrooms. Okay, and I roll for a random world and a random place that we're going to have to play the guitar for the day. And Adora is probably going to be more of a night owl. So we'll get a, a start around noon and we'll take care of all of her needs before we go. But guess what the first world I rolled randomly was? None other than Batu. So yes, we will be going back to Batu and playing the guitar. Well, here we are in Batu, and I did not get the welcome quest. So we only have 37 credits from the last time. And I know from experience that playing the guitar will only get me simoleons. It doesn't convert it into credits. So we might have to do a couple of quests here in order to eat. Uh, but we also might be fine because we're not really that hungry. And just so you know, you can't bring things with you to the two, but you can edit the lot if you turn on free build with cheats. So I placed this guitar and microphone and amp set and a couple of bags. It looks like she's here with a backpack or two. And we'll see if we get any tips. Oh, look, Clement Fire has given us a tip. Maybe we should say hello to all of the young adults. Oh, Jeffrey Lamgrab, he must be reincarnated. If we meet someone compatible while we're playing, then we may eventually marry that person. Okay, Clement is mean, so I don't think that he's going to be for us. Yeah, Adora is already hurt by him and is yelling at him. All right, we're not going to be interested in Clement anymore. Yeah, Anastasi Goth, this is my guitar. Sorry, you can't have it. Okay, they always say I can find Hondo in Oga's Cantina, but he's never here. Well, I don't have any way of contacting Hondo. I think Hondo is actually not in my game. So I'm just going to play Sabak and probably lose all of my credits. Oh, I actually won. Well, now I have 87 credits. Should have quit while I was ahead. I lost that one. Well, I still have overall more credits than I had before. I can afford to get something to eat. Oh, Outpost Popcorn Mix is free. Sure, let's get that. So we'll order a couple of drinks from the bar. And maybe we'll tend the bar. I don't know if it'll actually get us any money. But if it does, it should be in credits, hopefully. Oh, she's making a drink. Now I have 66 credits. Am I going to get credit for this? I did acquire the mixology skill, which we have to max anyway. So I think we might tend bar a little bit while we're out. Yes, we did get credits, 15 credits. So if you don't know how to earn credits in Batu and you don't want to do those stupid quests, then you can tend bar and get a little bit. The next place we're going to visit is Evergreen Harbor. So here we are going to throw an incognito costume party. And I don't know how that's going to go. 
but we'll see because we don't have any friends yet. We need to meet some teenagers. No, we're not going to prom. Oh, Jacob is squeamish. That may or may not be what's right for us. Okay, I'm going to say that if we have a crush on anyone that tips us, or if we have good compatibility with someone who tips us, that they are a potential spouse. Oh, look what costume I decided to wear. The clown costume. Can we change that? No, there doesn't seem to be a way to change your costume unless you just put on one of your regular outfits. Yeah, my costume is a celebrity. Well, we did manage to find one teen, but she's actually a relative. Okay, I managed to find two other teenagers, Riley Monib and Brittany Lobo. All of the other goals involve making buffalo wing tea, baking a hamburger cake, and eating cake. Um, I didn't think that you could do that at venues, but I guess maybe some of them you can. I don't know what's wrong with the bartender, but she keeps stopping from making drinks and food and then goes off and does something else and then comes right back. And then I can't make anything because she keeps coming back and it taking my bar. Oh no, people are trying to place orders. I just want to make a drink. Oh, Isaiah has finally passed away. That's so sad. It's about to be over too because we're going to the next day. Okay, well, this is Charity. Thanks for watching. <laughs>